Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming. We managed to progress the dream last time out, which was pretty cool. And now, um, we're awake again. So let's ah, put on our clothes. And I guess we try and fix this bike. It's the only thing we've really got to do. We've got to find this article at the library, but we're going to need the bike for that. And also find something to do with bread or baking. Is there anything else on here or is this just the... No, it's just it's the article. It's an article from the local paper ten years ago. Yes. Disley Ferret Murdered. The director of Figgington's controversial new theme park, Disneyland, was found murdered the day before the grand opening. He was discovered dressed up as the park's mascot, the Disley Ferret. However, police are still searching for the missing head of the costume, as they believe it may help lead them to the head of the director, which was also missing. The rest of the article's been torn off. I mean, it's a pretty... Maybe the local library will have a full copy of the article in their archives. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty dark story, isn't it, actually? Um, right, let's see if we can figure out how to fix this bike. We're going to need to pump the tyre up. We fixed the, the little um, the puncture in it using the plaster, but I don't know. We're going to need something, some sort of like bike Ooh, pump. Or... looks like the postman's been. The postman's been? Oh yeah, there's something here. This must have arrived while I was asleep. Okay. Stuff you. It's from my mum's taxidermist. Contents. Formaldehyde. Fun-sized bottle. Ugh. Flesh-eating beetles. Family bumper pack. One plastinated pufferfish. It's taped shut. Ah, okay, so we're going to have to open it. Can we pick it up? It's taped shut. I need to find something to open it with. Right. Why are there never any bloody scissors in this house? There was something... I've used my teeth, but they're <coughs> probably not sharp enough. Was it this thing that had the sharp teeth? He's got remarkably <coughs> sharp teeth. Yeah, okay. So I'm guessing we're going to have to use this to open this Let's up. Let's put those razor-sharp gnashes to good use, shall Yes, we? nice. One dead puffer fish. Ow, that's a prickly fish. One small bottle of formaldehyde. Nice. And a bumper pack of flesh-eating beetles. Flesh-eating... stuff's bound to come in handy for something. Yeah, and given that I've played Return to Monkey Island recently, I bet we're going to have to inflate this. Um, <laughs> how, how, can we... Does it just blow up, or...? Let's have a look. He's covered in little spikes. Okay, I wonder if we're going to have to inflate that um, to pump up the bike tyre. Let's have a look. Uh, with the bike. Ouch! I'm going to need to remove some of these spikes first. Right, we're going to need to get the spikes off. Oh, we've lost the... Oh, we've lost the um, the pliers. That's a bit annoying. Have they, have they gone back? <clears throat> I don't think they've gone back. I think they've just disappeared. Is there anything we can use to like smooth this down? So let's have a look at it again. He's covered in little spikes. All right, little spikes. Do we have anything that can can help us out with that? I'm not sure we do. Everything's out of the box now. I've got um, white spirit, paintbrush. Don't think the nails are going to help. Weed killer. Hmm. Okay, no. I wondered if there was going to be like some sandpaper or something, but doesn't look like it. Uh, is there anything in any of these rooms? Matches mole? Have we seen it's that before? It's a bowl jar containing a reassembled mole. Ew. My mum sure does love dispatching defenceless animals. <laughs> yeah, I think that probably says something about her mum, to be honest. <laughs> um, right. So we're going to need something... I mean, is the... Yeah, the vole's gone now as well, so I guess we don't need that anymore. I've got to find something to help get rid of these spikes. Nothing there. Plasters, cotton buds, cream, dental floss. I don't think any of that's going to help. Uh, anything in our room? Cradle, no. Fish food. I mean, I don't. I don't suppose it's it's Jeff. That doesn't need puffing up. No. Okay. So, I mean, can we can we use it on like the air or something? Life prefers a solitary life. No. Okay. Maybe it we. It feels nice when I get in and out of bed. Maybe we can use it on the fan. It 
If I tried to remove the spikes with this, it would damage the poor little chap. Okay, so we need to do it with precision. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing else in this drawer, is there? It's empty. No. Can we use the other drawers? This one's jammed shut. With actual jam. <laughs> actual jam. Nice. This isn't a real drawer, it's just painted on. Of, of course it is. Why, why wouldn't it just be painted on? Okay, um... Anything that can remove spikes. Anything that can remove spikes. I mean, I don't... I can't criticise. I have a skull lamp. <laughs> we do. He's in there now, but I can't see what he's up to. Should we look I through it again? I don't need to look in there anymore. No, okay, we don't, we don't want to look in again. We I can't... don't even want to think about what goes on in there. Okay, no, we can't go through there. I mean, where else can we go? We've got the umbrella. I don't know, did we try picking this up before? It's not raining. No, it's not raining, okay. Can we go in here yet? It leads to the kitchen. Yeah, can we open it? I think it's still out of action after last week's incident. No, okay. Uh, what can... We've got the bush, the ivy... Anything... We need something sharp, I'm guessing. It keeps... Keeps the public out. Can we like scrape it on that the fence? That doesn't need puffing up. No chalk outline. Maybe we can use the harpoon. If I tried to remove the spikes with this, it would damage the poor little chap. Okay, so we need we need something like sandpaper. I'm guessing. It's full of household rubbish. But I don't see that there's any sandpaper anyway. The doormat is a thing. The less abrasive of our two doormat. So they're abrasive. This doormat isn't abrasive enough for that. Ah, okay. Where's the other doormat? Do we need, have we seen another doormat? This one? I wonder if I can file these spikes down a bit. All right. Yeah, nice. There we go. Smooth as Action Man's pants. Now, if I squeeze the air out of him, he just refills through his bottom. Nice. Um. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty scary looking. <laughs> so will that work now? Do, do we have to use the fan or do we just literally use the puffer fish as is? The puzzles are really well designed in this actually, I've got to say. Here, wrap your little fishy chops around this. <laughs> the squeaking sound. Good as new. Let's head to the library. Alright, well. Ooh, a map just appeared in the top corner of the screen. That looks very useful. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. Let's look at the diary. So we just need to find the full article and find something to do with bread or baking. Um, do we? Ah, oh, nice. Welcome to Figgington, home of the Figgington Plop. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> so we've got Lucy's house and we've got the library. All right. So public library. A font of free knowledge. Figgington. Affording the residents of Figgington a chance to furnish their minds and gain a deeper understanding of the wider world. I don't okay. think I've ever seen someone inside. So we've got... Yeah, it's not surprising really, having met his uh, Lucy's brother and stuff. Figgington Public Library. Okay, so we've got a sign. Um, we've got the entrance. Can't do anything with the plants. Our bike is here. There's a trowel here. Looks like someone's been doing a spot of gardening. Yep, can we take that? No one seems to be using it, so I guess it's mine now. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we can do some digging now if we need to, I'm guessing. So into the library. Whoa, Whoa. it's really hot in here. <laughs> Blame Satan. I beg your pardon? Shh. Sorry. <laughs> Reminiscent of the librarian from Monkey Island 2. It's what? hotter than hell in here. What, what is all this crap on here? Um, and why is the fan not doing anything? <laughs> Archibald and Lucille Fig, patrons of Figgington Library. It's a computer called... Oh, Satan. It contains the library's archive of local newspaper articles. Right, it's so... It's asking for a library membership card. Oh, I don't think we have one of those. I don't need to investigate all of them individually. Are we, are we sure? Is there, like, any anything special? Let's just have a look here. Okay, it's a nice chandelier. Very atmospheric. Mysterious hey, curtain. No going back there. Why? 
Why can't we go back there? I mean, now I want to go back there, now that we... I know that we can't. More books, more books, there's a mug. Let's look at this poster. Satan, the devil's in the detail. <laughs> Free, eternally heated mug with every purchase. Nice, and there's the mug. My God, a hot cup of tea. They're looking forward to a good stamping. <laughs> it's the library's official stamp. Nice, and there's some more books. I mean, I'm guessing she's not going to let us pick any of these things up, I'm but let's give thirsty. it a go. No, okay. She's using it. Yeah, of course she is. All right. Hello, Miss Hambleton. Shh. <laughs> What's behind that curtain? What's behind that curtain? More astounding works of Satan, dearie. Uh, astounding works of Satan? Astounding works of Satan? In a library? It's true. Satan pretty much controls all the libraries <laughs> in the area now. <laughs> Did Satan make it so hot in here? Did Satan make it so hot in here? Well, undoubtedly. Satan's instruments put out a lot of heat. Okay, how goes the librarying today? How goes the librarying today, Miss Hambleton? Oh, I'm incredibly busy. It's been non-stop in here all day. I mean, it... <laughs> it looks pretty dead to me. <laughs> busy? There's no one here. Books don't stamp themselves. Unless you have one of those fancy automatic book stamping machines. They're made by Satan. <laughs> Satan makes automatic book stamping machines? Satan makes automatic book stamping machines? Absolutely. Satan are the leading supplier of library equipment in the county. Here's a copy of their latest catalogue. Huh. They're committed to making librarians' lives easier through a process of innovation, technology, and redundancy. <laughs> Let me show you our latest bit of Satan tech. Okay. Here she comes. <laughs> Prepare yourself. This is going to revolutionise our tiny library. Oh my god. This is the Bibliotheque 9000. It can find any book your soul is yearning for. Nice. Let me show you how. Okay. I scan my library card here. I don't think we have a library card. Now I think of the book I want to borrow. Oh my god. The Bibliotheque <laughs> searches my soul. Uh, I mean, it scans the electrical impulses in my brain. It locates the book's details. And dispenses it right over there. Okay. Seems simple enough. And here it is. Cool. Oh, my dear sweet Edmund. <laughs> It's a Thimbleweed Park anyway, reference, isn't it? If I want to return the book, I just put it on this shoot here. <coughs> Goodbye, my love. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some books that I surely need stamping. <laughs> it's very Thimbleweed Park, I love it. It can find any book in the library. Okay, well we don't actually know that we need a book in the library yet. So we, we don't have a library card either. Can we look at this, um, this thing here? Satan. Self-aware textbook arrangement networks. Making idle hands work for you. The library card just fell oh, out. Oh, okay. We do have a library card. Let's, let's look at this. It's a photo ID for Figgington Public Library. Mr. Edmund Plum. Deceased. This must be the guy who wrote that book the librarian was thinking about. I oh, nice. his library card still works. Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, let's talk to her some more, though, before we do that. Hello, Miss Hambleton. Shh. <laughs> do you have any books about bread or baking? Do you have any books about bread or baking? We have Paula Holyrood's latest book on pre-order, but it's not come in yet. Right, okay. Uh, how can I get a library card? How can I get a library card? Join the library, Poppet. It's not rocket science. We send the forms to your home address, fill them in, and return them. And you will receive your new library card in three months. Three months? I think I'll leave it, thanks. Well, I mean, I'm in a bit of a hurry. We've already got one, so 
Uh, is there any other way to access the newspaper archive? Is there any other way to access the newspaper archive? Not unless you can steal someone else's library card. And then somehow fool the archive's facial recognition software into thinking it's yours. Ah. That's a great idea, thanks. Don't be ridiculous. It's obviously a terrible idea. <coughs> You'd need to know their personal pin number oh, too. Oh god. It's better than waiting three months. Personally, I'd rather you didn't access it at all. I mean, really. Who installs a talking computer in a library? You? What does your newspaper archive... Uh, why does it have facial recognition? Why does your newspaper archive have facial recognition? Personal biometrics and data are the only currency Satan is interested in. <laughs> it's a bit old school now, though. Right. Our new book retrieval system in the back room doesn't even have a face scanner. Once you've put the library card in, it scrapes any desires, guilty secrets, and other data it needs directly from your soul and sends them directly to head office for profiling. That's both ingenious and terrifying in equal measure. They got the idea from that social media company. Meta? <laughs> yes, it is a bit. Let's <laughs> talk about something nice. else. <laughs> nice, okay. Will you tell me about that book your soul was yearning for? What can you tell me about that book your soul was yearning for? Oh, my dear Edmund. He was a local poet and a fine, fine man. He'd write the most beautiful poems just for me. Then one morning, he boarded a train and never came back. He sent the library that book and his membership card before he died. Hmm, okay, fine. Well, we're going to need to trick the facial Ouch. recognition thing. Um, so that's going to be difficult. I'm not really sure how we're going to do that yet. But I guess now that we've got this library card, we can use this thing back here. So I think that's what we'll do in the next one. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. And I'll see you next time.